<laughs> Tell me the story, Casey. What were you saying? All right. So Friday, I had a mystery guest booked. Yeah. Right yeah, uh, we were waiting. Yeah, I had this. I've been working on this for about like two years now. It was going to be huge. And I told Gary, and I said, "Do you want me to let you know?" And he said. Well, is it a big celebrity? I said, well, it's not a big celebrity, but to our show, it's a huge celebrity. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right? So you want me to... It didn't work out for Friday, but it's not a definite no for the future. I was trying to get it hooked up for Friday as a phone call, and then maybe we could get it to work in Vegas or something like that. Who is it? Should I just tell you who it is? Yeah, I'm trying to hear. Why don't you guys guess? I, I have thought, no idea. Do we, know? I thought, we don't even know what arena we're supposed to be guessing. I thought Crackhead Bob. That's no, what I thought. It wasn't Crackhead Bob. Your hot was mom? Was it like a no, whack packer? Yeah, was it your hot mommy? It wasn't my, it wasn't my hot mom, no. Okay, so but was it a whack packer? Uh, it could be, yeah. Could be. Could be. All right, so when you say to the show, only in the realm of the show, is it? To our show, this is like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Was it like a Tourette's guy or something? Uh, you, you've heard of these people before. Oh, was it the, um, the kids at Whitney High or those other people that do the retarded news? How's your news? Uh, I was gonna get, I was gonna get, kidding. Yeah, I was going to get, uh, what's his name, Su Susan, and then the other guy's name is, uh, exactly. How are you going to get them on Susan the show? Susan and Ronnie to do a song because they're upset. About the FCC? About the FCC. Are so they? They're, they're aware of it? Yeah, they're aware. And they, do they listen to the show? Well, well, no, but, you know, people tell them what's right. going on, and they're, they're really upset about it. And then, after the interview, I was going to have them crank up a live How's Your News and bring you right into the oh, that But, uh, what happened? What happened is they uh, that would have been great. I know, but they couldn't get they couldn't get it to work. Um, but the phone? Yeah, they couldn't get the phone to work. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the phone to me. <laughs> they were playing a gig in Texas, yeah. so we were going to call. Oh, them they do the gigs? Game. Yeah, but here's the good news. They got a good uh, new CD, and I got a copy of it. Oh, that's this is great. the best. I got to uh, give you some of this. Let me see that. Okay, here, check it out. All right, got a whole bunch of new songs. Now, the first one you want to check out is... Uh, what are they singing now? Did they write all these? Yeah, yeah, all they, right. they write all these. This is the guy that... This is the group of people, the guy that sings about Las Vegas? Yeah. Exactly, oh, yeah. yeah. If, they're great. If you want to refresh, the last bit... Yeah. There's one place to go. It's called Las Vegas. What's the, what track should I play? Okay, uh, number nine. This is a new singer that they, uh, they tried out. They this, found. Yeah, this guy's name is uh, Bob, and this song is called Hotel Bob. I like the guitar. <laughs> oh, that's great. Can we get this guy on? He's part of the team. Sounds like Bowie. <laughs> Early years. Is it anyone? Uh... He's scared, huh? What's this guy's problem? What do you mean? He's, just, he's really retarded. I mean, like, he's more retarded than anyone. Yeah, he's like... He's a... This guy's hardcore. He's yeah. king of the retard. This is punk. <laughs> Looks like Artie getting his lap dance on Friday night. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's pretty good, right? All right, so now... Um, <laughs> You know this guy, uh, Ronnie, who sings Las Vegas? That's yeah. the guy's voice. He's got this thing. He loves his actor, Chad Everett, I guess, who was in, like, a soap opera. So Chad Everett Center, was... Medical, medical Center. Center. Medical Center oh. years ago. So in this song, he's fantasizing about, wouldn't it be something if if, uh, if I met Chad Everett? And Chad Everett called him on the phone for the song, track 13. There's a show called Medical Center. It was played... It was Dr. Joe Ginn. And his name was Chad Everett. But he was and good. I got looking. a personal phone call from Chad Everett. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is this Chad Everett? Is this Ron? Yes, Chad. This is your spiritual brother, Ronnie Simonson, from Telling New Hampshire, Chad. How are you, Chad? Oh, I'm fine, brother Chad. I'm <laughs> doing good. Not that you called me. I got it. You know, it's got to be frightening when you're like Chad Everett and you get the retard call. <laughs> and it's like, well, would you please help out? This is a charity thing and it's time for retard, you know, retard. Right, right, and you're like, yeah. well, you can't, you can't say, say no. no. Do you think that's how it went? Or is Chad Everett one of those guys that's on that list of, you know, for 40 bucks, they'll call you for five? No, no. no. Oh, no, I think he was, like, doing them a favor. <laughs> this is your brother, your spiritual brother. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I'm okay yeah. now. Hey, great to speak to you. You have to try to act like the guy's all normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, 
retard. Yeah. <laughs> this is Chad Everett, you retard. Well, thank you, Chad Everett. I think you're one good actor, brother. <laughs> oh, uh, that's creepy. You know what? Sounds like he's getting carried away with himself. Oh, my news is good for me. that you called me, Chad. And, and how, how, how are things going with you? And, I'm glad to get you back to my movie. phone call from Chad Everett. He called me from California all the day. He had a friend named Chad. Sometimes don't you wish you were retarded? Because like just a simple call from a washed-up star could really make your day, I and mean, you're writing songs about it. You know how like I'm wondering if Ron mixed this because you know, yeah, I know <laughs> it's annoying. It, how, you know, it's like how like a guy like you know how guys get some regular guys get excited about chicks calling. You're retarded. You get a call from Chad Everett. You get a call. You're happy. You're, you're absolutely beside yourself. Chad and I got on the phone. He said I do a good impersonation of him. Of Doctor Joe, getting me laugh like everything. So I feel like the other guy's like really retarded. This guy's mildly retarded. Right. No, this is like a, a very high functioning. This guy sounds like Dan Fogelberg or something. Compared to the other guy. Yeah, he's well, right on the money. Yeah, but if you saw the movie, how's your news? There's, wait, no, how you got to let that one roll just a little bit more. Very good laugh. No. I laugh with it. You laugh with me. I laugh with Chad. I'm going to Chad Everett. Chad Everett. Chad Everett, I'm going to need Chad Everett. Imagine if it was Tootie from Facts of Life. Uh, Chad Everett, Chad Everett, Chad Everett. Dr. Joe Cannon, medical center, the court. Chad, would that be something with women? This dude's a real star effort. Wow. <laughs> I mean, like, wow, he Chad loves Everett. Some Chad Everett. Well, for Chad Everett, this has got to be thrilling. I mean, somebody's singing his name. <laughs> well, Chad is actually talking to him about having seen him do his interviews. Yeah. So I, he's really playing into this. Got a lot of time on his hands, <laughs> Chad Everett. Yeah, so he's got so in this album, this uh, celebrities that come help him out. Your buddy John Tesh is on it too. Oh yeah, oh. What, what track? John Tesh is on uh, number fifteen, and uh, this is uh, Susan. John Tesh might be the biggest moron I've ever heard. Discussing the FCC being like speed limits. <laughs> well, when someone spells out the speed limit for us, we'll comply, okay, dude? We've all been racing down that highway for years, and now it's time we stop. They finally got pulled over. <laughs> yeah. That's a simplistic way of looking at life. <laughs> Great metaphor, John. What kills me with John Tesh is he thinks he's smart. Hey, guys. Oh, okay. Guys, ready? Ready for me to count it off? Yep. Hold on, sir. Hold on. So I don't imagine any people trying to say, how's your news? Right, yeah. Right. You're just Where's Tesh? He's coming in. Ron, you're just basically jacking me up on that. Hey, this is a song that is dedicated to all the Rosses out there. This is a song that I've... Who's the broad? That's the, the woman who sings, how's, how's your news? How's your news, girl? Yeah. John Tesh is on the tambourine in the song. Oh, no, good. <laughs> Made up both how's your news and dead to a reggae beat, so... Yeah, rest the fire. I enjoy it. <laughs> oh. You know, I know it's a nice thing to hang out with retarded people, but it's really hard. When did you try it? When I was in uh, junior high, my mom made me volunteer to CP Center. Well, CP is not retarded. Yeah, but to a kid, it seems the same thing. Because my guy, the guy I was wheeling around, was like, mm -hmm. and banging his head into the wall and uh, tipped over his whole wheelchair, I had to pick him up. Dude was strong, too. He overpowered me. <laughs> we, we had one uh, retarded guy who was in the wheelchair, and uh, mm -hmm. he, the music teacher was really hot. So he would stand, and he would get, like, he would get aroused. Right. And he'd say, he'd, 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 try, he'd try to push it down. He didn't oh, know what to do with it. no. My retarded arousal. <laughs> Do you have any knees? News. This is like the acoustic How's Your News. Right, yeah. She's going to rust a version of reggae version. With John Tesh on the camera. Who's harmonizing with it? Harmonizing. No 
nobody. But who's singing? <laughs> At least there's some words. <laughs> and that guy that you like, that guy Bobby, the new guy they found, mm -hmm. he's got one more track. It's uh, He's talking about baseball. It's number six. How do you know what he's talking about? Let's see. Maybe because he's uh, using some words this time. Oh, sure. <laughs> Horse racing. Welcome to the team. That's him? Yeah. Who's buying this thing? I wouldn't. I mean, I know we're buying it. Yeah, they couldn't be putting this out just for us. Did you get a free copy or we had a pay for it? No. We got a free one. That's it. We're the, we're the only people who might actually buy it, and we we got a free one. Do you think other retarded people like to hear? No, <laughs> no. But this is this is like the, some retarded people don't want to hear this. I, I know a lot about this because I've been talking to these people for a long time. Apparently, like they take this to different schools and they say, hey, you know, just because you're retarded, you can do stuff. I mean, you know, they can't. Clearly, they can't. But this is like you know, this is really you know. To me, it's saying them. they're encouraging them to do something they can't do. Yeah, they're basically saying just because you're bad at something doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Right. I feel like you're goofing on these guys. No, not at all. That, mm -hmm. Totally not. That's that's what the, that's what the problem I'm having, Howard. They think that they're gonna get goofed on when they come on here, and I'm I'm telling them that I, I don't know what's gonna happen. When I might explain to them that the music's not that great. You know, maybe the, the the listeners might say something, but you know, we're just putting it out there. I mean, you know, putting these CDs out there. If you go to the website, you know, you'll sell a lot of these. All things. right. Well, too bad you didn't get them on. That would have been great. But, it, hey, I'm trying to work it out for Vegas. Great. A, a live Las Vegas? We would love Oh, it. that would be fantastic. We don't mean to meet them. We don't mean this in a bad way, but your music's retarded. <laughs> hey, how, you want to hear one more track? Sure. One more song? Take us into commercial. All right. Uh, how about, they went to Toronto. So, number, number four. Toronto. Toronto. Retarded right. Canada. What? Maybe she left early. Uh, one, two, three. Two. Like <laughs> the whole bill there. So it's one, three, three. It's going to be faster. You're creepy and they're spooky. <laughs> Mysterious and ooky. Boy. I love that person. It's got to be faster. Like they would know any beat. <laughs> it's gonna, one, two, eight, four. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Watch two steps. One, two, three. Let's go. Come on. They're actually planning it. They're really putting effort into it. I'm trying to explain to that retarded guy like he's got to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> retarded rehearsal. And I see Susan got it. She's still counting at the same thing. We're pace. here in Toronto. We made a movie called How's Your News. <laughs> we certainly want all of you to see the movie and tell us what you thought. <laughs> so come on and meet all of us who have come from the United States. We want to show you the special film that we have made. Toronto! 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 Courtney Love should tour with them. I think she does. All right, we got to take a break. We'll come back right after these words with the news. And now.